Thank huh? you, Dr. Cecilia, because um, I'm very honoured to um, introduce you to the participants today. Uh, Dr. Cecilia is from. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dr. Cecilia is the administrator and head of the institution and also a research guide in many universities. She's a member of the Research Advisory Board in India and founder and head of the Bill Ross Research Association. She's made a lot of presentations and published a lot of papers and has quite a number of very distinguished awards. So I'm very pleased to introduce Dr. Cecilia and I hope that you find her presentation on um, a trial of physical activity uh, for women with PIH uh, very interesting. So I'll hand over to you now. Um, Dr. Cecilia would like to take questions after the session so please sit back and enjoy it and then we'll have a discussion afterwards. Thank you. Okay, over Thank to you, you now Dr. Thank Cecilia. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much for introducing me. I am uh, very pleased and honored to be a part of it. So, I am going to present a very small study. Actually, it is uh, done on antenatal women. Okay. So, this is like pregnant. Yeah, one minute. I am okay. So, the pregnancy induced hypertension is just form of high blood pressure. So, it causes around 76,000. Can I use a pointer, John? Pointer. Okay, so it gives like 76,000 maternal deaths and 500,000 of infant deaths each year. Why it is being so concerned is, how oh, to go down, no? Okay, so because it gives lot of complications even during antenatal period like IUGA, stillbirth, asphyxia and even sometimes deaths for mother and fetus and intrapartum hemorrhage, tears or shock like this, the complications are more. There are many studies done by people, but particularly these people have done studies saying that this could be very much preventable. Up to 1.9 to 18.7 percentage, it is still preventable. And this person, Sibai, has done a study and he said that there are many methods to prevent PIS and its effect and which includes one of the activity, one of the method is the style of physical activity. So what is this style of physical activity when I look into that? It's just any activity which is going to increase the fetal perfusion is can be done. That's what they have to so this uh, any physical activity which increase fetal outcome among all antenatal mothers be improved by Motala. Then any exercises which can improve endothelial cell function and also reduce oxidative stress. Which by doing this exercise, if there is no fetal stress, stress we can def definitely go ahead and have it. So to have a better outcome, we should do some activity which is going to increase the fetal out perfusion, thereby the fetal outcome. So based on this concept, the study was taken up to assess the effectiveness of trial of physical activity on neonatal outcome among women with PIS, that is pregnancy induced hypertension at selected hospitals in Chennai. So this. For this statement, we have formulated certain objectives that is to assess the neonatal outcome between in two groups, compare between the groups and associate the background variables with the neonatal outcome. So having this objectives, the hypothesis for this formulate, uh, formulated for this particular study is there is a significant improvement in the neonatal outcome among women with TPA than those without it. So with this we went into that. So this is DPA like any activity, any type of activity the woman can do at home by herself which minimum of 30 to maximum of 60 minutes any day, uh, each day which is going to increase the fetal perfusion which includes also very simple activities like the left lateral position and day nap all that was included and we just instructed the women to go for how many hours of rest and how many hours of uh, sleep all that is being instructed. Okay, then uh, like this, how to sit, how to bend herself, how to do the circling exercises, hop, hop stretching and even brisk walking was included. So all these were given to her and this was like uh, instructions was given and diary was given to her to maintain it. How many days are she doing every day? All that was given. So this is just to have the supportive theoretical framework. We use Roy's adaptation model where it help the women to adopt herself towards particular concept. The antenatal mother with PIH was with all these variables considered as input and she went into the adaptive mode. 
that is uh, we introduce the tpa that is style of physical activity into her so she adopt herself to do this every day and we believe that uh, if she does every day the assessment of this neonatal outcome will be like this we will have a better birth rate of the baby no iugr maturity will be term so this is what abgar score will be better so based on this we went into the study so we have got into this methodology like evaluative research approach with post test only design the design includes ncr that is manipulation controlled randomization the manipulation is nothing but tpa that is style of physical activity control is we had a one group the control group and also we control all extraneous variables which is going to affect the study and randomization was done through simple um, random sampling randomization was there the sample selection was done by simple random sampling by lottery method and we had a very uh, basic criteria like semi gravide mothers with gestational age between 12 to 16 weeks who comes to that hospital for the first visit and also who got pih at the week of 24 weeks and mothers who plan to have delivery at the same hospital were selected and previous slide Uh, so the tools of the study, the two tools uh, were formed. One is semi-structured questionnaire to collect background variables, and another one is checklist to collect the outcome of the baby, which includes all these variables: the term, preterm of the baby, a term of the baby, weight of the baby, IUGR, Abgar scoring, respiratory distress, neonatal jaundice, IUD, neonatal death, and seizures. Validity and reliability was done. Like validity obtained from many nursing experts and research experts, reliability was done through iterator method. then we went into the main study it how we collected the data collection is after the pilot study uh, we follow all ethical considerations by getting ethical committee approval from the head of the department nursing superintendent and medical director obtain consent from all the mothers then we allot the mothers into two groups through random allotment technique then after we allotted the we have collected the background variables in both groups so this was the done this is the study group like after we collect routine care and information of antenatal care the study group and practice of tpa was given here the education on tpa was just given to them what is the benefit and all routine care was followed for the control group then after we give a education then really we went into the demonstration of all sort of activity which is going to increase the fetal position so this was done so we did stop with that i went into like after we give uh, the mother is admitted in the high risk ward because she was with pih with some complications and we teach them how to uh, assess the fetal well being by herself this is the thread that what she has in her hand so she has to assess the fetal movement every day uh, that was uh, I mean taught to her and she has a diary to mark it and she will bring it every week whenever we follow call her for the follow up and also we told her the rest and the sleep how to rest what position and how many hours all that is been given the level of adherence whether she is really doing the tpa or not that was followed up after 8 weeks almost every day through telephone and also the mothers were called up individually and also reinforcement was given for the mothers who were not able to do the tpa regularly where the family members also were involved because here in india the mothers and mother in laws are very uh, Uh, we like they have to give permission to do anything so that is all that's given to her family was reinforced and follow up of mothers were done till delivery in both groups neonatal outcome was assessed this is the even after delivery the neonatal outcome was assessed through the checklist this is the analysis the finding or this so this uh, study group and control group demographic variables if you look at all the variables it is all no not much difference which indicate there is a homogeneity is there between both group if you look at this the age all belongs to this type of age group like 21 to 23 that's ideal age for childbirth and all had secondary majority of them like 50% of them had secondary level education and many of them were unemployed and type of work if you see they had a moderate type of work this is in both group so there was not much much different and income if you look at this all were about 3000 rupees per month and habitants many of them from urban in both groups and type of family if you look at both groups had nuclear family at about 50% to 60% so this was the demographic variables 
uh, between both groups then we see there is no difference so this was strong support for our study and this is about a uh, maternal fetal outcome when you look at this rate of the baby when you look here there was no significant difference but if you look at here most of the babies born in study group are between this like 1500 to 2000 the same way here also in control group abga score not much different this is the same in both groups and also term babies most, uh, most of them are got term babies and about seizures if you look three babies has got seizures in study group but in control group eight babies so that is one thing there was there there is a significant difference was there and here in hypoglycemia uh, no difference both of them are almost same birth asphyxia not much difference here four and eight babies that is almost double times in control group and when we look at the neonatal death here none and there is one and intrauterine death if you look there is none and there is two and respiratory distress syndrome here eight seven it's much better in control group in fact and about sepsis here is only two there is five and birth injury just one and it is four and when you look at the igr here six and it is 18 almost so there was a significant difference in that aspect and when you but though there was not much uh, difference in about uh, their variables but when you look at the overall neonatal outcome in both groups the study group had a mean of 13.5 and control group had 8.5 standard deviation was 1.54 to 2.93 the calculated independent t value was 3.516 then it compared to the value the t level was i mean the t value was very much significant at the level of 0.001 so it shows that definitely there is an insignificant improvement by the trial of physical activity towards the fetal outcome so this is just a diagrammatic representation of mean and standard deviation when you look at the discussion and finding as i told you there is a homogeneity between two groups and when you compare to neonatal outcome there was a significant difference at the level of p0 overall was p less than 0.001 so here we accepted the hypothesis which i have formulated earlier that there will be a significant difference between the group the for the group which who is undergoing tpa than who is not able to do and this is uh, there are two variables neonatal seizures and birth injury has got some significant difference between uh, study and control group at this level that is t less than 0.01 for this particular uh, finding there are many studies supportive studies are there and when we look at the association no significant uh, association revealed in control group but in study group with education level of the mother uh, and neonatal outcome there was some association at the level of t less than 0.005 so the mothers need to be educated if the education status that also can improve the neonatal outcome the women so the conclusion of the study is the women needs to be told the advantages of practicing tpa regularly the evidence based result can be transformed through conferences like this and in service education program so that the nurses will enhance the pregnant women towards this particular concept and these are all my references so the outcome of the study is to just to uh, facilitate the women towards the trial of physical activity Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity given. Thank you very much, Dr. Sushila. Sounds like a yes, really interesting study. Thank you study. so much, ma'am. Can I ask? Ah, thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Can I clarify with you um, on the slide where you presented the overall outcome score? Uh, maybe I'll, yes, I'll go backwards a little bit if you don't. Mind. I wondered how you calculated um, the score. So this one, what does the score refer to? What is that, ma'am? This one. This is independent yeah. t-test, ma'am. How did this you... is independent t-test? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. What what is it this measuring? Is a... Not the t. This is a... not the t-test, but what is the mean? This is t-test, independent t-test, ma'am. We call it as independent t-test, ma'am. Yeah. But what is it? Yeah. What is the mean that you're measuring? The mean of what? Well, I am not getting you, ma'am. What is the test? Independent t-test, ma'am. This is called as independent t-test. Or if the sample size is thirty, we I go for. Uh, mm. uh, yes, now I understand the test. I just I'm not sure what the um, 
the characteristic is that you're measuring. What is that a mean of? You know, it, it's not baby weight or uh, what? What is the score that you have there? Thirteen point five. One, ma'am. This one. Mean. Yeah. The mean is actually the number of observations divided by the number that what we have, ma'am. The total score divided by the obtained score. That is percentage we'll get, ma'am. Mean percentage. At this one scoring, we have given negative scoring and positive scoring was there, ma'am. So the people who had, like example, if you go into IUGR, so IUGR if it is not there, we will give plus one. If it is like that, ma'am, we had 10 to 13 variables, ma'am. So with that, we had a score of one and two, ma'am. So the total score is 20 actually. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, that's what I was trying to understand. How you calculated the score? What yes, the characteristics yes, were? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. We have uh, two things like. Uh, what is that a negative and positive scoring ma'am like uh, we uh, if there is no uh, outcome like IUGR if you say if they have IUGR more like people had IUGR will give no scoring that is zero if they have no IUGR then will give score of number one so like that the total score was actually 20 and we had different like weights and all we have given like the weight example 1500 to 2000 will give score of one and 500, 000, uh, 2000 to 2500 we have a 2. So I have different scoring patterns by myself and it was validated. Then we went into that. The mean was like total score, uh, obtained score divided by total score into percentage. Like that we went ma'am. Hello? Yes, uh, I understand. Thank you. That, that's very interesting. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so um, much ma'am. I'll just ask the if, if I have any questions for you. They may, um, yeah. the people listening, if you want to put up, put up your hand using the icon yeah, or if yeah. you want to type your question mm -hmm. in. Um, yes, ma'am. Ma if anybody asks, I will answer, ma'am. Definitely. Okay. We'll just give them a minute. I have some messages. I have some messages. I have some messages. I have a nice presentation, ma'am. They, uh, they have put nice studies. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, saying that. Yes. For listening While we're waiting for some questions, can I ask you also about um, compliance with the physical activity? Was was it a difficult thing for women to fit into their, it's a, it's their day? Really, ma'am. Really, that was, was you can easy? really, ma'am. The compliance. This was you can see this. I told you reinforcement mm -hmm. was done. See, ma'am, reinforcement was done because this women particularly complained to me that. Like, uh, my in-laws are not allowing me to do the exercises. So we called this particular fa family, like not only for this, this is an example. Many in-laws were called and we gave, we told them to uh, help the, these people to practice this CPA. The complaint was really good once they understood the, uh, the like physiological process, how the fetal perfusion is going into the uterus. All that we explained through the video presentation and diagrammatic representation. So they understood, ma'am, definitely. Yes. Um, I think some of the other presentations I've heard today from India and yes, Bangladesh, it seems like uh, women's yes, lives are very busy, um, especially yes, in, in yes, the mother-in-law's home. Yes, yes, yes mother-in-law's uh, has to help. Otherwise, the in-laws cannot definitely do, ma'am. The TPA mm -hmm. uh, was like... Uh, we have done trial of physical activity, that is any exercises or any activity which is going to increase the fetal perfusion, they have to do for 30 minutes to 60 minutes every day. 30 minutes is the minimum and 60 is the maximum, but they have to do at least once a day is must. They can do even two times as per their uh, ability and all will be marked in the diary. And we have one more uh, study also in this, the mother who went into uh, TPA for more time had better outcome than the mother who had less time. So that is the question they have asked me. I think I answered. How long do yes. the ladies do the exercise? Yes. Uh, 30 to 60 minutes, ma'am. Yeah. More information. How much physical? Uh, and, and what okay, type of things did, did they do most often? Um, was there one particular exercise that you found they were doing more um, often? Yes, ma'am. This is the exercise, ma'am. I'll just show you, ma'am. The this is the exercise. I'll just show you, ma'am. This is the one. Like, let's let this is one minute. Huh? I have this pictures. One minute. I have a pictures. I'll just show the pictures. 
Yeah, ma'am. Actually, we told them to do this brisk walking, and whenever they sit, they have to sit like this. And there were some calf stretching exercises and shoulder circling exercises. So these four exercises we were so carefully introducing and lying in left lateral position. While whenever they take rest, we told them to lie down in the left lateral. And this is the like see they have to lie down and they whenever they stand they have to support the back so that the compression is being relieved. Whenever they want to lie down, they have to see that. The position has been increased to the uterus. So these type of activities we have definitely told them to do it. Whenever they lie down, they have to lie not like this. They have to lie. Down. This is before exercise. Just she is taking warming up. This we have taught them. Uh, left lateral position was ideally speaking. We introduced everyone, and we told them to go for day nap every day at least for two hours in left lateral position. Be quite active yes. in their daily um, and the control yes. What what sort yes, of activity control, would I do in, in the normal yeah, time? I have in my studies. You see, ma'am, control group was really like we have given a routine information was continuously given as they have received. See here, this is the control group, ma'am. Routine care yes. and information on antenatal care was given because ethically we respect them. We did not deprive anything towards them. Later on, we gave a information booklet to them to practice. But initially, to so this group, we were given lot of reinforcement and demonstration. But for the other group, we were not able to give the reinforcement. But exactly, the information was given to them. All routine information was given to them for both groups. And for only study group, we assessed the level of adherence. For that group, we did not do reinforcement for study group. Follow up in both group, we have done, and also see. Till delivery, both groups were followed up. Then neonatal outcome was assessed, ma'am. Uh, in India, all ladies are active, ma'am. But the problem is they do they do some activities which reduce the fetal perfusion. So that has also been told them not to do this. How not to sit? How why they have to? Some people will be standing very long. I mean, heavy lifting. The way they bend, the way they sit, which is uh, giving fetal distress. All these been told. So that is what actually trial trial of physical activity. It's not only exercises. We I told you already any activity which is going to increase fetal perfusion was being introduced. But activities which is reducing the fetal perfusion is also told them not to do. That is what we were doing, ma'am. And what um, have things changed in your hospital as a result of this study? Yes, ma'am. This is in the hospital, ma'am, in Chennai. Uh, it is Sri Ramachandra Medical and Research Institute. It's a research institute where we do lot of projects. We have a big research committee for it. We have a ethical committee. We have a research director, and we have a people to do uh, guide and uh, do things for there for us. Like we have presented the study also there, not the study findings, but they gave a like we have to. Give our methodology. How many samples we are going to take? All that ethical committee approval, I mean. So all these we have taken from the hospital, and the hospital has given permission to do this study, ma'am. And it is very easy to do because many mothers used to come every day to the OPD. Almost 50 to 100 mothers, antenatal mothers, will come and visit the OPD. So it was like easy, ma'am. Very good. And how many um, births happen at the hospital? You know, eight how many deliveries, ma'am? How many deliveries? Yes, yes. How many deliveries? You are asking, ma'am. Normal deliveries? Normal yes. deliveries. If you think three per day, like every day, three to five normal deliveries, regular deliveries with the help of epicyatomy and uh, oxytocin, we will have uh, as usual. The labor process will be there. A normal delivery, a normal regular delivery with epicyatomy will be uh, three to five, ma'am, every day. And cesarean will be. Almost five to eight, right? It will be more than normal delivery. Mm. Is that because it's a, a center for women who have um, complex health? No, it, is, uh, it is because, ma'am, many people will come as unregistered, ma'am. All registered people who came from the time of registration will have always. Most of them will have a normal delivery. The people who are not registered. And just like that, coming on the way, will have most of them will end into cesarean, ma'am. And another thing, mm. I, in India, no, ma'am, they have a practice like 
they have till eighth month they will be with the husband and ninth month they have to come to the mother's house so when they come to mother's house uh, before they get they get registered into any hospital by themselves they'll go get labor pain and they will not assess their complications they'll just like that they'll come for any hospital whichever is near so that is another reason also ma'am what does unregistered mm -hmm. unregistered means the hospital will give uh, soon after the women enter into the hospital they will give one number for the registration all her data will be entered so even if she forget her record then she tells the register number that means registered means she has been followed up all her uh, files all her reports all the scan report mother and the fetal growth the fetal growth will be completely assessed by the team of the hospital ma'am that means it's registered Um, so what I is India's uh, rate of cesarean section? Yes, uh, rate of cesarean section, ma'am. Actually, here in India, it's more, ma'am, than normal delivery because normal delivery we are we are getting about forty percent. Cesarean is almost sixty percent, ma'am. This is very high. No, why do you say unregistered women have cesarean? Uh, if needed as cesarean, if needed or not, it is not like that, ma'am. Unregistered women will come there. They will they they will not know that what complications they have, and clear obstetricians will not have time to assess them completely. Uh, if the cervix is not open and the labor is not progressing, they have to go for it. If the women is registered, the whole history is with us. So definitely, they will wait for that particular woman. to go for a normal delivery this is what we are just saying that man, about it and many women who come uh, with out registration just like that will have more chance of going for cesarean this is only like uh, some studies we have done the mother who come regularly registered at the first visit and come regularly doing follow up will have more much safer delivery that is what we mean actually and, uh, and this policy If someone has had a previous cesarean section, that next time yeah, they also had a cesarean section. No, we are no. Yes. If any women had the cesarean section earlier, we still try we back. That is vaginal birth after cesarean section. We have a process okay. and we are doing it. And if not, only then we go back. And um, are you changing your practice around yeah. the management? Ma'am, I have a of I have a question here also. Vaginal plus instrument yes. or vaginal birth left alone. We have a, a vaginal birth with episiotomy, not a instrument. Instrument nowadays we are not using it. Instead of applying the forceps, we believe that cesarean is better. We don't go for it. But one to two percent still we are having a forceps and vacuum delivery still going on. If it is at the last minute, we are having some instruments like forceps and uh, vacuum man. Otherwise, the vaginal birth are left alone as long as the progress is fine. Uh, episiotomy is not a routine procedure, but in hospitals it is a routine procedure because a certain hospital has a policy of having episiotomy as a routine. But we have a government centers. Government centers it is not a routine procedure. We wait for the normal birth without episiotomy, ma'am. Thank you. Um, Dr. Cecilia, um, are you going to implement physical activity as an intervention for women who have high blood pressure after after your results of your study? Yes, ma'am. So I uh, say that the trial of physical activity definitely is going to improve the fetal position, thereby the neonatal outcome is going to be better, ma'am. Yes. And, I understand um, that this, there is nothing normal about yes. an instrumental birth. Yeah, I am saying that I, I didn't say that it is normal uh, for vaginal birth. If instrument is needed, then it is called as operational delivery. Where uh, what instrument we use, we call it as forceps delivery or vacuum delivery, ma'am. I told you if the mothers are normal, there is no need of uh, having instrument. Then we will go just vaginal birth. We don't introduce any instrument unnecessarily. Unless otherwise we are in the last minute. I have delivered. Have told me episiotomy or routine in the country. No, ma'am, not routine in all country, ma'am. All uh, all hospitals and all centers. There are hospitals where the policies have been formulated where episiotomy is routine because they don't want birth injuries to happen. But 
in government centers uh, there are some private hospitals also saying that episiotomy is not routine ma'am yes without even uh, episiotomy we have delivered many ma'am many 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 it's not very simple i mean not very uh, less numbers we are delivering in most of the government centers primary health centers we deliver the people without episiotomy episiotomy is not an injury episiotomy is just a opening to help the women to have the baby in a easy access that's all episiotomy is just one obstetrical procedure yes ma'am any other questions ma'am i i want to this study is going to be published so has it been published already yeah sure ma'am no not yet ma'am not yet uh, first time i'm presenting so after that i have to publish ma'am definitely so yeah, i will do the publication <laughs> yes ma'am uh we yes, look forward to it yes ma'am it reduces the sorry um thank you definitely yes ma'am it is certainly is reducing the I, uh, yes, yes a lot of so um, there are many studies also supporting this <laughs> i think we were in such very yes, ma'am concept that that way and we um all not all the see there are we are saying and, uh, that uh, the women will have so thank um, you so uh, like uh, really stimulating the yes, audience uh, created a, a lot of so debate and a lot of lot of questions and comments okay thank you um i'm just going to um remind myself to turn off the recording um and um we're making a slide so yeah, okay, um to close thank the conference so, so if you've got a photo of your hello any any of the participants thank you Dr. Cecilia um please email it to mm -hmm. us at um, admin@vidm.org